It was a special day. You just knew you were going to be famous. Well, my grandmothers, they didn't spray me down with a lot of perfume. They realized that, hey, I'm going to be the president of the United States. They had new trucks galore. I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. You just hear just the cameras going off. Good morning. I noticed something was wrong when a guy came in and whispered something into the president's ear. Those children were so innocent. 9-11 took away a little bit of their innocence. This is me right here. I've helped literally thousands of women start their online businesses. I'm the face of my brand, I'm the CEO, I'm the assistant, the manager, everything. The American dream means doing what you want and being paid very well for it. So here I am over here sitting in the corner. I was always a little bit of a timid guy. It's hard to really say what happened being born to two artists and deciding to go down the path of engineering. They were never very good with handling their money. I handle the finances of this house. Oh my God, look at me. There it is right there, this is the post. From birth, I feel like I was born into greatness. I run a babysitting service. I want to own my own actual daycare. What's emotions? The way you feel. The way you feel. I went to school for radio and television. I want you to fly away with your lips. <laughs> Do tongue rolls. Right, it looks really wacky. Oh. oh my gosh, Tyler Radke, right here, Tyler Radke. Oh my God, the most craziest boy I know. Uh, Representative Tyler is pretty young. The original guidelines called for him to go to prison for a minimum of seven to eight years. Oh man, it's me right there. Let's go, one kid. Got it. I joined the military because they offered the chance for me to help take care of my family. I want to be your best friend. You want to be my best friend? <laughs> Losing my life overseas is something I keep in the back of my mind. So I used to be a little rambunctious little thing. <laughs> my day starts at 6 o'clock. It's very demanding and hard. You can walk by yourself now? My biggest fear right now is kind of like going like 10 steps back and just starting again. You could certainly say Sarasota is sort of a microcosm of America. It's still very segregated. I mean, you could be a young black male in America. If you're doing good, then you still have bad stuff. It's possible it could happen. To get a phone call that said your brother just been shot by the police, that's our only brother. We only got one brother. My mom had one son. We're going to trial. It's making it to trial. And it's hard waking up and still smiling. You could have gave up. But you did. I fight, I fight, I wake up and I fight and I push and I fight because I want better for my kids. I want better for myself. I think they understand now that although life gives you challenges, that you have to continue to rise above them. The fear of not being successful, I feel like that is kind of like my biggest fear. To those young people, I would hope that they would continue to rise rise and rise again. If that butterfly doesn't struggle, its wings won't be strong enough to fly. I want you to fly to your potential. Ain't got what I want, but I'm getting stronger.